number, Jim, you probably heard on Squawk. Uh, not a lot in there, although, Jim, year-on-year -year wage growth is uh, the lowest since December. Yeah, but it's just not what... If you're Jay Powell, you're thinking, okay, when, what, when do I have an impact here? And this is not a great report if you're the Fed. Yes, they've got that, and we know that the job openings have come down, but I, I, there's nothing in here that makes it so that you... This is that we don't have a big down October. The unemployment no. rate went down again, which but, is right. good. I mean, it's funny because we stop being saying, so charitable toward the poor. I mean, that's what you feel like. You feel right when you say mature. when you say, oh, we'd rather have it higher because it would mean right. the Fed is getting what it wants instead. It's actually but, uh, there was, lower than it was. But there was one paragraph I'm going to read because I think it's never talked about. It's driving me crazy. Among those not in the labor force in September, 452,000 persons were prevented from looking for a job due to the pandemic. Uh, in May 2020, 9.7 million persons were prevented. But there's still 452,000 people who are not looking for jobs. Now, what's the real number? I think it's substantial. And what, what happened what, how about the buyouts? They were substantial. So, I mean, we got to cycle through this thing. Now, I know that there were a lot of people on the previous show who said, well, look, the Fed's going to tighten too much. I, I don't care. The Fed has to tighten. I mean, these numbers are just incredible. And remember, I want the Fed. The Fed wants to have your home lower, your, your pension lower, wants to have your savings lower. David, it wants that. And so it's getting that. Well, it, is it? Well, have you seen your screen? Uh, yes, you I'm, I'm well aware of the screen. What are you looking at? I, I do look at it. I try to look away is sometimes it? as well. Red is bad. I'm aware oh, no. of that. Oh, no, maybe Reddit. Although good. I still don't completely buy into your thesis. But my thesis about is About right. when it comes to so wealth destruction. I don't really destruction. need your buy. I, I don't, don't need your buy. I know you don't, but I'm here to question it. That's they, all. Not they on the other things. They don't want you to spend. I mean, how do you... I mean, I was on a, uh, a Norwegian cruise line yesterday, the Prima. Uh, I mean, are people just like throwing money at, at cruising. They want to go places. They want to do things. Because what happened? I mean, you know, people were cooped up for... A year and a half. They're going to spend. Well, even after the revised uh, spending BA data we got earlier in the week, there's still a, at least a trillion in excess savings, which a lot of banks now think will probably last people until maybe the summer. Well, there we go. And so the Fed raises and the Fed raises. And then, I, I mean, I was saying that I thought the two-year could go to five and a quarter. I bought some two-year paper, obviously too premature. You can actually do an inverse Kramer on the two-year. Um, well, we're going to get the banks and not that long, so we will get some, some guidance or at least some commentary from the likes of Jamie Dimon. With, they have a huge we'll have a credit Brian card Moynihan. portfolio, Brian Moynihan. Brian Moynihan, but all of them in terms of that consumer spending number, which right. I've heard nobody say is really let up dramatically. It hasn't. There's been a lot of pent-up savings. People want to do things. The behavior of people post-pandemic is in keeping with what's happened post-war. But we have no immigration in the country, and we just don't have enough people to serve jobs. And it's very typical when you go to a restaurant and they say, listen, we can't serve you right now. We don't have enough servers. Yeah, that's, that was really – and we'll talk to Secretary Walsh about uh, labor force participation. But we had gotten our hopes up last month when we got to 62.4. Could we build on that? Some argued if we had, uh, you might have been able to tolerate a number in the twos. But it went down to 62.3. this number – I mean – in the times that I've come out of a recession, you were always praying you get this number. It's like, wow, you know what? We're back. Well, we're back the wrong way. <laughs> well, it's not the wrong way. I mean, why is oh, it a bad not. thing when we're adding 372,000 jobs a month for the last three months or 360,000 for the last six months well, average? Okay, well, That's good, isn't it? Well, Secretary Walsh, let me just tell you, the problem with that is because the Federal Reserve is determined to make it so that those numbers aren't as strong. All right, and so inflation. the market will keep going down. But you know what? Those people are going to have jobs, and a lot of them probably don't invest in the stock market. So well, it's good. Okay. I, it's not just your stock market portfolio. It's your house. They want things to be cooled off.